Because the vampire squid has a dark red body, it blends in well with the dark of the abyss. It seems naturally protected, yet it has light-emitting organs. Exactly how does it use them? These were filmed for the first time in Japan using a super-sensitive high-definition camera in an effort to observe how it uses them. What other discoveries can Dr. Robeson and his team look forward to? Suddenly, Vampirotuthis starts to open its mantle. The membrane envelops its body, completely changing its appearance. It's an incredibly dramatic way of avoiding danger. secret weapon that this amazing creature uses to escape attack. The super sensitive high definition camera captures the light emitting organs. These resemble a pair of bright eyes and researchers suspect that they're an effective deterrent to potential predators. So despite having hardly changed its basic shape, this living fossil has developed some amazing adaptations to survive in this twilight world. using computer animation. By remaining almost motionless with its filaments outstretched, Vampirotuthis uses up little oxygen. This is a very energy efficient way of hunting. Then, when small shrimp or fish touch the filaments, Vampirotuthis quickly moves in on the prey. Using the soft membrane, it envelops the prey and swallows it. Even in this oxygen deficient environment, there are predators lurking. Alarmed by an approaching blue shark, this Vampirotuthis opens up its light emitting organs. At the same time, it turns its membrane inside out and covers up its eyes. By making the opening of the light organ even smaller, it can create the illusion of having fled to a distance and confuses the shark. Then, when the shark accidentally bumps into the Vampirotuthis, it releases glowing particles to further confuse the shark and allow Vampirotuthis to escape. Such remarkable adaptations allow Vampirotuthis infernalis, the vampire squid from hell, to survive life in a hellish habitat where most others would perish. Down in the abyss lies an alien world which only a few have been privileged to glimpse. But thanks to the invaluable research of Dr. Robeson, it's been possible to gain an insight into the life of one of the deep's most incredible creatures, a living fossil that has remained virtually unchanged for millions of years. are beginning to reveal their secrets. But can it be possible that they have anything more extraordinary to show us than the vampire from the abyss?